Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 30th through November 5th. Now this may or may not resonate because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Bits and pieces may resonate and the other pieces may not. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. This is for the sign of Leo, and this is intended to be a love reading, okay? If you're not looking for love, you probably shouldn't be watching it. What I mean is if you're not looking for love in your life. I will zoom this in once I get the cards laid out so that you can see them all, hopefully. sure that is going in the right direction. Looks pretty good. Okay, so the basis of the reading is the Six of Wands. It looks like you, many of you are making progress this week, okay? The progress is coming, okay? You guys are making progress. I think that some kind of clarity is going on within you, like you're, you're having peace of mind, okay? You Maybe you have released some negative thoughts and that's where the progress is coming in. You've, you're, you're thinking more on a positive level. And I love is definitely here, all right? And it's funny that I started the reading out like that because it, it must have been coming, okay? Um, I feel like you guys have really worked on focusing your thoughts in a different direction. You've dug deep, okay? Seriously, you've dug deep and you're releasing negativity. That's what's happening. You, you're just bringing back the, the peace and harmony in your life. Congratulations, you're bringing back the balance. You know, the, you're bringing back the balance with the negative and the positive. We all have negative thoughts, but I think they're pretty well balanced in your head this week. You have the clarity that you've been seeking, and you have released the negativity. I see it. I see it. Oh, my goodness. I think if there was some obsession, you are letting it go. I think you are looking at something in a completely new perspective, with a new perspective. I think you're moving forward. Um, you're not, you don't, you're not resisting change, okay? You're looking forward to it. I think that you're thinking about the future and um, you're following your own inner guide and you're just letting go. I mean, it's a big, big, big deal. It really is. I see that you've used the force within you to master your emotions. You have decided you are going to face your fears. Congratulations. You are using your confidence and your courage to replace the negative with positive, And that's what I see. It's strong. It is. And I think because you are doing that, there's more love to be had. Okay, you are you are releasing more love and love is coming to you more freely because the negative patterns that you've been going through are dissolving and you've done it by mastering your emotions. I see for many of you, there's a partnership here. Maybe somebody's been helping you work through the struggle, you know, the struggle that you've been going through. Or if you are single, somebody could be coming in very soon, okay? Because there's a chance for a re love, okay? Uh, a, a new feeling of love where, you know, as before you were feeling very negative and now you're not. Okay, so when you when you let go of the negative, that's where the love shines, and that's when the love comes in. It's it's really absolutely wonderful, um, and I think that many of you um, are just moving in another direction. You're moving away from the negativity, letting go of an obsession, surrendering. Okay, replacing fear. 
Yep, that's what's going on. I am going to go ahead and start shuffling the next. Oh, you've really focused. I see many of you have taken the time to do it. It's not like it just happened overnight. You had to refocus your energy. I think many of you went through a period of feeling like you were stabbed in the back or where you felt, felt like you hit rock bottom and you had no other choice. You had no other choice but to refocus, and so you did. And when you did, you realized that you can do this, you know. You can master your emotions. You can surrender. You can let it go. And you've done some soul searching, and I, I congratulations. Now you're focusing on your future, letting the past go. And I think I see a clarity of mind here. When you let the things go, the clarity of mind comes pretty darn quickly and harmony I see a lot of harmony you let that negative go and the peace returns so I think this week is about um, things coming things coming to fruition because you've made it happen you've refocused your thoughts all right wow There has definitely been some depression. There's been some depression. But the basis of your reading is the Six of Wands. That tells me that you're making progress. You are making progress. You are heading in the right direction. So don't despair. If you still have some despair left this week, realize that you're making progress. It may take a little bit more time. Don't give up. Okay, you have unnecessary worry, but I see that you're releasing it. So keep going. You are absolutely making progress. Do not give up. Remember that you matter in all instances. You matter. Okay, any conflicting thoughts that you have going on in your head that are left, that are still there, all you have to do is, is push them out. You can. You have the ability. You do. <laughs> All right, you have the ability to replace them. You have the ability the ability to refocus them in another direction, especially this week. And I see that you're making progress. The cycle may not be over yet, but you are making progress, okay? I see that there is some there still is some um, mental anguish. There is. There is. But you're making progress. And that's the basis of your week. You're making progress towards releasing the negative thoughts, okay? I see that um, your negative thoughts could be around a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person, um, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right. I see that, you know, I think that they're going away. They are going away, but they're still there. All right. So you're headed in the right direction. You just need to keep releasing them. So this week is, is you need to continue on the path. Keep listening to your inner guide, okay? Keep listening. Keep soul searching. Keep believing, okay? Um, I think that many of you have hit rock bottom in the past. Recently, you've hit rock bottom. And you're at a point where you're, you're climbing back up. You're climbing back up. And it's one day at a time. So I'm here to tell you to keep going. You are getting your life back on track. You're getting your mind back on track. The clarity is coming. All right. Your peace and your calm, calmness is coming back. Your inner peace. Okay. I feel like your stability and your security, you know, your um, insecurities are diminishing. Some, some. And you're starting to bring some stability back to your life. I think many of you are releasing a... Um, something that you were obsessed with you're letting it go you're broadening your horizons you're, you know it's time to focus in another direction and i think you're doing that but it's it, you know it takes time it does not happen overnight i'm here to tell you don't quit don't quit you must struggle through this and uh, you are you are struggling through it but you're doing it with grace you really are 
and you are the clarity is coming back you are being offered this gift of above from above of clarity okay you are so whatever's going on in your head and in your heart and your whatever your inner guide is trying to tell you listen to it listen to it acknowledge it and move from it okay use it to your advantage but if it's a negative thought Acknowledge it and release it. If it's a positive thought, run with it. Seriously. Okay? Because I see that you're making progress. And you're doing it for yourself. Congratulations. It's, it feels like you guys are putting yourself first. And that's what you need to do. You need to put yourself first. Alright? You need to honor your inner self okay um, and I see that this whole reading is about you are making progress you're making progress towards love okay towards loving yourself so that you can accept love from another person all right we do have several other people here all right things could happen pretty quickly all right something could have happened very quickly which leads you um, to feel like you've been, um, something could have happened too quickly, too hastily that left you feeling, you know, unsure, um, not at ease, like somebody kind of like a vindictive energy you know something has happened that has caused you not to trust okay but you, you're releasing it okay somebody has caused you not to trust but you're making progress in letting that go so that love can be accepted okay so if you are a single Leo I think you are making progress towards finding love, okay? But I still think there's steps that need to be taken, that you need to take. There's still some depression. There's still some mental anguish that needs to be released. You are making progress, but you still need to release something. It's, it's not gone yet. You still need to let it go. You still need to move on from it, okay? You do. And you need to have faith over fear. I do. I see that, that you need to have faith. And many of you are starting to have more faith. More faith in yourself. Okay? So, so. All right. I see many of you are just deciding to surrender. You're deciding to let go. Let go of the negative patterns. All right? So I think this week is about letting go of negative thoughts and but you are making progress but you have been in the and it's because you have been you trusted somebody and it really hurt you trusted somebody and they really hurt you and now you know it's hard to let that go it's hard to trust again but I think that you're making progress in releasing the negative thoughts in your head I'm getting you one of my angel guidance cards. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit. That's a strong message here. Do not quit. You're making progress. Keep going. Next week, next week's reading should be, hopefully, that you guys have really meet, reached a milestone with letting go of something that really hurt you. Forgiveness. That's not what the card says, but that's what came out of my mouth. Okay. Don't quit. Whatever you do, you're on the right path. You do have the ability to master your emotions, and many of you are doing it right now. Keep going. And there is your card. Wow. Wow. It's the perfect card. Oh, my goodness. I love it. That's an Archangel Michael card. I'm actually going to turn them so that I can zoom it in a little bit better for you.
Okay, the first card is the ocean. That's a angel guidance card, daily guidance card from Doreen Virtue. The ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. The next card is from Archangel Michael. You created the situation and you have the power to change it, which you are. I'm going to read the prayer. My prayer. Thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. That is the perfect card. You're making progress. You are. Okay? Keep going. You are healing from whatever hurt you so bad that you felt like you were at rock bottom. You're making progress. And I know I've said that a lot, but I really don't want you to quit. Don't look back. Release those. Acknowledge any negative thoughts. You have to. You have to acknowledge them and release them. You can. You have the power within you. It's true. You do. You have the power to change it. It's the truth. It's the truth. So, Leo, this is what I have for you for the week of October 30th through November 5th. I hope you enjoyed your reading.